Three ingredient pumpkin chocolate chip bread. This is a really simple recipe, but if you like pumpkin chocolate chip bread and you don't want to go through the fuss and the hassle of getting everything out of your pantry, like your flour, your sugar, getting your eggs, your spices, this is it right here. I'm going to show you how fluffy this is, how delicious it's going to turn out using a cake mix. Okay, right here we're going to go ahead and get started. I've got a medium bowl. We're going to place in our cake mix. This is a spice cake and it's got cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice in it. So that'll give you your flavors right there. All right, we're gonna get some scissors out. How are y'all doing today? Well, it's a nice day for us in Southeast Texas. If y'all don't know, I'm from Katy, Texas, which is just right on the edge of Houston, Texas. All right, let me get my can opener. This is a 15 ounce can and it's 100% pure pumpkin. You don't wanna get the pumpkin mix, okay? Cause then it's got a lot of sweeteners in it. And we already have that in the cake mix here. So just be careful which one you get. We're gonna go ahead and open this and then add it to our bowl. Pumpkin is such a fall thing. We're gonna add the whole can. Okay, we're gonna take a hand mixer and we're going to blend this together until it's nice and combined. That's the only liquid in this bread, okay? You gotta remember this is a bread and not a cake, so it's gonna be a little more firmer. Start off on the low setting, that way you don't have your cake powder going everywhere. And then once we get that kind of combined, we're going to start going to the medium. I would definitely mix it for about one minute. Whip some air into it. Y'all, it smells delicious. <laughs> it smells like a pumpkin pie. Now there is a recipe on the back of the can and it has the famous pumpkin pie and the new fashioned pumpkin pie. Okay, what you're gonna need is a loaf pan. Let me show you how big that one is. Let me get my... <laughs> okay, it's nine by five by three inches tall. So this is a standard loaf pan. Now what we're gonna do is you wanna grease and flour it. I'm gonna be using some Baker's Joy cause it's got the flour inside of the nonstick cooking spray. All right, make sure you get in the corners Okay, what we're gonna do now is add our chocolate chips. These are semi-sweet. Get our scissors out. I love the original Toll House chocolate chip cookies on the back of the package here, the recipe. So delicious. All right, I'm preheating my oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna add one to two cups of chocolate chips into the pumpkin batter. Now it just depends on how chocolatey you want this. I'm loading it up. I've got a half a measuring cup. I've got a measuring cup that measures half a cup. So I'm gonna go in a few times. And we're gonna go half more. 
one and a half cups. Fold it in. Now it's going to be a stiff batter, but I promise you it's going to come out very fluffy. Okay, look at that. We're going to go ahead now and bring over our pan that we've prepared and we're going to put the batter in. It smells so good. Oh, I love the smell of pumpkin. One of my favorites to cook during the holiday seasons, during the fall, pumpkin. I'm going to spread this out evenly. I can't wait for this one. Okay, I'm going to take all the excess off. Because, you know, that is almost a piece of bread there. While the oven is preheating to 350 degrees, I'm going to tell you some of the recipes that I've made using pumpkin. And you can find these on my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com, where you can also find the videos. Or you can go into the description box and find those there. I made magic pumpkin cookie bars. Those were really good. Double layer pumpkin pie, pumpkin pull apart loaf, pumpkin spice monkey bread, pumpkin pie pancakes. Yeah, you can do that. Pumpkin caramel butter bars. My all time favorite, pumpkin earthquake cake. That one was delicious. Y'all go check that one out. What I think I'm gonna do is top the bread with some more chocolate chips. This will definitely give it some more chocolate flavor. And right on top, it'll make it look really good. There we go. We all think. Mm. All right, our oven is preheated. We're going to go ahead and place our pumpkin chocolate chip bread batter into the oven for 50 to 60 minutes. You want to make sure that you can stick a toothpick into the center of the bread loaf, pull it out, and it comes out clean. It'll pull away from the sides of the dish, and also it should be kind of firm to the touch on the top. I'll be back. You know you want to know what this looks like on the inside. All right, I've just pulled my pumpkin chocolate chip bread out of the oven. I had did a toothpick test. Just put it into the center pull it out and it should be totally clean. It's firm to the touch on the top and it's pulled away from the edges. We're going to let it sit in the pan for about five minutes. Then we'll pull it out and we'll place it on our cooling rack to completely cool. We've cooled down the bread. I'm going to slice it. Look at that. Well, I can smell the spice off of that. It smells really good. Oh yeah, I love the crumb on that. I'm going to give this a try for you. Mm. Oh my gosh, who says you can't put pumpkin and chocolate together? <laughs> I've done it before with my pumpkin earthquake cake. Yeah, they go together. That is very delicious. I love those chocolate chips in there. You can get that spiciness from that spice cake mix. Happens all in three ingredients. That's very good. There's a little denseness to it, but it's very moist on the inside. Yeah. All right, y'all give me a thumbs up on this one. Comment down below what you think of my three ingredient pumpkin chocolate chip bread. You making it for the holidays or for the fall? All right, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. All you have to do is hit that bell notification. All right, I'll see y'all on the next episode.